Good morning and welcome to a new week and a new kitchen still in the works. It still has a lot that needs to be done, but we have gotten so much done. It's crazy. We have changed the lighting in here. So as you can see, it's so much brighter, which is going to make a difference in just all the video stuff that I do in the kitchen, the baking and whatnot. I still have my little light, which will be handy, but I don't even have that on right now. This is the kitchen at full blast and check it out. Oh, she dims, she dims. I really want to get it done this week or today if I can, most of what I can, just to get it functioning again and mostly finished the paint. I've gone around, as you can see, and pretty much painted the entire kitchen and mudroom. The lighting was the handiwork of my electrician husband. I didn't know that we were gonna be doing that this weekend. I thought we were gonna be doing the flooring and the painting, but he had in his mind an idea to change out the lighting in here because it's so dark. So that light was in that spot. That was fine for me because I like to cook in really low lighting. It's probably not ideal, but I don't like bright light. But my husband's the one who will come in here and go, God, you can't see anything. <laughs> and when you are trying to see and you want to see, it would be nice to have options. So he put in four cam lights and they look so good. And because of his insane wife who needs <laughs> it to be about there <laughs> to function. It gets to a nice low lighting if you want it to just, you know, be relaxing. I do put it on this now when I'm filming. So now I have an option too for you guys to be able to see. Today I plan to take everything off these shelves and paint the shelves green. And then at some point we're gonna go in and do the trim. We're just touching up the color of the trim. So we got a second of this exact color and we're just gonna go around. But for the most part, you know, we've got our first coat on. And as I was in here doing this, started listening to really educational podcasts. I was really trying to limit the amount of negative content that I'm taking in and I would always put on true crime whenever I would do a project, when I would craft, when I would sew, when I would do anything. I started to realize, I think because of therapy, being aware of what I'm taking in, trying to get better mentally about just my look on life and getting out of this agoraphobia thing. I don't know if I'll ever completely not have a little tinge of agoraphobia in me just because I think that's just part of who I am. True crime was not helping <laughs> with any of it and I just said no, 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 no. We're going to learn. <laughs> We're going to listen to something that's good for our mind and wholesome and makes you feel good and just things I'm interested in, things I'd like to learn. So I started listening to Gardening for Beginners. Just getting my mind there. Been wanting to get into gardening, but it hasn't clicked and I needed it to click because it sounded so overwhelming to me and I just didn't have time to start a new thing. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I'm getting my mind there. That is to me just small steps. And I think the best way is just listening to episodes of somebody talking about how to garden to begin with. So I learned about green beans and how I need to like think and consider what green bean variety I would want to begin with. Do you start from seed or do you just buy the transplant? If you want to do raised beds or containers, listening to these podcasts that are helping me kind of understand where to start. That is so loud. I won't be able to see it because it's so cloudy. I'm gonna take down the granny window thing. I just don't need it. I'm just, I'm getting rid of anything that to me is just added clutter. I want really clean lines. I want limited things on the walls. I just want it to look really intentional. But I'm going to check my phone and eat some lunch and uh, we're gonna get to it. <laughs> trim. I love taking a brush and going along and doing the trim. It's like almost like 
therapeutic painting for me, but uh, I'm getting dizzy. I was to actually started planning like does my Alexa that's not plugged in right now know how to call emergency <laughs> like ambulance if I fell. I've fallen and I can't get up. We're sending help immediately, Mrs. Fletcher. I don't remember this being on such a hard liver. Okay, I'm gonna Pro tip, if you're going to be in a designated space for the majority of the day, perhaps maybe don't um, open a can of tuna fish wherein you will be sitting in that smell for the rest of the day because that's not what I want to smell right now. <laughs> I'm done eating and I don't want to smell what I ate and it's fucking gross. <laughs> and it's so funny because last night we watched the Golden Globes. favorite song we look ridiculous like a couple of j-holes i am embarrassed the golden globes have not changed will ferrell of course all he has to do is make a face and make you laugh but what he said after they were done dancing and they did their whole thing you could tell it was a part that they hadn't talked about because kristen wig started to laugh and she could tell that she didn't know he was gonna say it he said that the whole room smelled like hot sushi <laughs> You would imagine that room would just smell of like perfume and you know all these rich people just rich air <laughs> Everybody at home got the reality of it that it smelled like hot fish uh, Anyway, I've gotten all of these corners done My little curtain is now gone and I'm gonna start in there with that little shelf and get this cleared off so I can start painting in here bright and early. I got up pretty early this morning actually just naturally. It just felt like waking up. I knew I had a lot to do today. I'm very excited about a project so I just couldn't help myself but just pop out of bed, pull my hair back into a ponytail which I've been doing lately. It's a little weak. <laughs> it's not the thickest ponytail in the world but it's kind of fun and cute. Uh, but I'm as you can tell I'm very hyper and I don't know why I never wake up with this much energy kind of like what did I do the tile is down we had to move the washer and dryer to get underneath it so we did this really cool like when the Trojan horse was put on those rollers we lifted it up and we put it on these pipe rollers that he had in his truck for electrical stuff and then we just scooched it out so it was actually really easy to just roll it out and roll it back in but it's such a nasty day out like it look <laughs> my floor is already dirty we ran out of tile for just that last tiny two inch strip so we ordered another and it's on the way so we can't finish this until thursday but it's okay because we do we do still have things to do we have to paint the trim we're putting a fresh coat and so that needs done the framing of this window is going to get repainted the exact same color nothing will change with that so it's not that exciting because it's like well it's going to look like that there's such an intense windstorm right now and we're supposed to get some snow possibly later in the week that um, I woke up and looked outside and the whole street was just covered in pine tree branches, these huge evergreens that are all around us, just dumping giant branches all the way down the street. And the first thought I had was, damn it, I wish that was a month ago. I could have used that for garland. <laughs> But anyway, I'm gonna have some morning coffee, doing dishes, but I just wanted to show you the final result. We even got up there and did all the edging in the corners, and we just need to do a few cleanup spots where I accidentally hit the ceiling, and, but yeah, otherwise it's, I need to just go around and do some touch-ups in little spots, but it looks great. I love this color so much. <laughs> the new background we are gonna do a tin effect on here so you know that pressed tin vibe they have a backsplash for kitchens that just sticks right over top of the tile anyway what I'm gonna do right now is first I need to make my coffee because I feel like I can't think 
and then we're gonna make banana pancakes i got the idea because i listened to a jack johnson album on my way to the grocery store the other day and i was like banana pancakes he's singing about banana pancakes and it made me want them <laughs> but look at the sun flickering in my beautiful <laughs> <laughs> I'm just so like in awe of the sun right now in my kitchen, but I want to like decorate a little bit. You can do it. It's electric. Oogie, oogie, oogie. You gotta know it. It's electric. Na, 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 na. <laughs> he didn't grow up with the electric slide. I am too old. This is too ripe. It's very Andy Warhol. It's in its Andy Warhol phase. All right, let's get this. Let's get this going. Here is everything put away on the shelf. Everything has a nice organized jar to go in. And so it's just less bag and plastic everywhere. I'm just not a fan of just store packaging. It's kind of ugly. Everything clashes with itself unless it's a nice natural material like this bag. I love this bag. Have everything where we can see it. I do like these to be lined up because I'm a spaz. I want them on each shelf to be lined up. Does that make sense? The next thing I need to do is I want to kind of hang things on these two hooks. I just want a couple of aprons that match the room, a little mail thingy I have, and then I'm gonna hang the dog painting back up because I did like it in here and I think it's really cute, this guy. And this is the dog room, so I think that'll look perfect up there with the poop poops. And their little feeding troughs. <laughs> this is just nice to have hanging somewhere for pens. All right, and there is the laundry room slash mud room, pantry, dog food station, complete. All right, so here's the next order of business. Do you know what this is? <laughs> I didn't either until about four days ago. This is a grout peeling tool. So it apparently, I'm not really sure how, but this gets into the grout at an angle, not grout, but the caulking in the tile here. And this is supposed to like shave that because we wanna lay a new strip of it down because that caulking is just old and kind of getting grimy so we want to replace it all and make it look really nice i have my christmas tree sticks this is just some leftover branches i'm using in simmer pots so i just tossed it into a planter just so that they're there for when i need to clip off a little section and toss it in a simmer pot to make the kitchen smell like pine i've been doing that with lemon and whatever leftover apple or rinds i have from oranges and cinnamon and it looks so nice and i just tossed my picnic basket back up there i think i'm gonna have nothing there 
Oh God, I need to get ready and go. All buckled in, harnessed, ready to go. Marvin, you have paint on your ears. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Good girl, Teeny. Can't even see you back there. Fallen branches from the windstorm we just got. My gosh. <laughs> it's really windy out, so we're gonna keep this short. But it's a beautiful day. Well, it's cold, but it's sunny. That's it for today. What a productive day. I'm gonna go edit the organizational reel that went on Sienna and the Craftsman. Go follow me there, please. And uh, I'll see you later, probably tomorrow. Yeah. I feel human. <laughs> I haven't put on makeup and made myself look cute. It's been a hot minute. I've, I've just been in painting, projecting, loungewear mode. And also it's January. It's cold. I don't want to do anything. I don't want to go anywhere. It's really hard to get motivated to do anything at all. I was just talking to Lyle about that because he was like, oh, we should take a trip up north. I need to get tattooed uh, with that gift certificate that I got. And I was like, I don't want to leave the house. But it's just right now it's 20 degrees and that's not even the coldest. 21 degrees. It's going to be down in the like 14 degrees. It's so cold. Like even just opening the door. I was noticing that when you're not somewhere where it's this cold that often, it's pretty mild in the Pacific Northwest, I would say for the most part. It doesn't get this cold. I mean, even when it snows, sometimes it's like low 30s, maybe, maybe 20s, late 20s. It never in the, the, the tens in the 14. That, that to me, <laughs> it's really cold. And I was noticing when I was outside, that it sounds different. Cold air, I mean duh, but like I was really listening to the wind. And I was like, wow, that's a different sound. Cold air is like, <laughs> I'm being weird, but you know what I mean. It just it has a different sound. My lashes are sticking together. I put on some lilac lashes. These are just leftovers. At the end of each box, I always have one left and I just make Franken lashes. And I've mentioned that here before, but I love the Franken lash because it's so unique. You just never know what you're gonna get. And also tonight I have to do a Zoom meeting and then I also have to do some makeup for this thing that I'm doing. Anyway, uh, guess what came? See it? <laughs> you guys know I'm mostly a thrifty girl, but sometimes I do order from stores like this, especially when it's specific things I'm looking for, like loungewear pants. And it's that time of year where it's freezing cold and all I want to do is wear bulky sweaters and cable knit pants. <laughs> all right, first thing. These were actually one of the things I was probably most excited about because this was part of that 70s collection that they had. The best loungewear pants. Oh, I cannot wait. These have a good feel to them. They have a nice thick band. Uh, the material feels nice. Look at those, they're bell bottom. <laughs> they're gonna be so fun. They don't have that weird manufactured smell to them, so that's good. And they always have the little cider apple. And cider apple on them. But love, love this pattern. I just think it's so so groovy. <laughs> it's very groovy. And I think these would just look cool with big oversized sweaters and some sneakers. And I mean, I can totally wear these out on a dog walk or, you know, run an errand to get some coffee, something like that. Next up, little bralette. Isn't that just so, so cute? It's very like strawberry shortcake. <laughs> it's got ruffles, little flowers, adjustable straps. I just thought it was a really cute bralette. This might be one of those things you know you can put on with like some high-waisted jeans maybe and a big bulky cardigan. Very me. 
right, next up, the black, uh, cable knit black pants that I got because I have the sets in every single one. So I have the blue with the set top. The ones I have on right now I do have the matching set top. But this is the black one. I think I went one size down because I felt like they were a little bit bigger on me which is so random because that's like never happens. But you can see the sweatery pattern in them. They're just so cozy. I love them. I love them. I needed them in every color and if they come out with another color I'd get it. I would love a, a really dark camel tan tone and maybe like a burgundy. I love that. Here's the pants. These are the matching pants. I, when I tell you that these are so relaxed and comfortable and just, the, I love the waistband to them. They're just really sturdy, but they fit in a way that like makes you feel flattering. It makes you feel like it's flattering on you. They're just the best and I, I highly recommend them. They have wide legs and they're so comfortable. And you can just toss the sweater on over top and then when the weather warms up a little bit you can just wear the two-piece and you're good to go. I wore this in June last year and I was very comfortable and they go great with sneakers and great for travel. That's where I bought. I got them so I can uh, be comfortable on our drive to Sacramento last year. I've been on the hunt ever since I saw the David Beckham and Victoria Beckham Netflix show where she was wearing some high-waisted sailor style jeans and I've been looking for similar ones ever since. I don't know what brand she's wearing. They probably, who knows, <laughs> but they were so cute on her. And I made a mental note, I am on the search for some more kind of retro looking high-waisted jeans. And these with the bow in the front are promising. You can always tell if they're going to fit your waist, if they fit around your neck. I don't know why, but that's the rule. How cute. These look promising. And then they have the wide, wide bell-bottom leg. <gasps> These could either make me look bigger, which, you know, wide leg stuff, when you're taller and bigger, sometimes isn't the best. <laughs> Last item of clothing is a brown boho style kind of sweater. Little front pockets. Nice. I don't have any cardigans in this color, and so it'll be nice to have just a good, you know, brown one. I think black and brown goes really well, really well, <laughs> really well together. Okay. They're broken. How sad. I can fix it, but that just sucks. Anyway, there's a place here called the Chihuly Glass Museum. They look exactly like the glass sculptures that you would see at the Chihuly Glass Museum here. And I was like, I know what I'm doing when I wear these. They're so gaudy. They're so huge. They're ridiculous but they're broken. That's so sad. I was most excited about this is the jewelry that I ordered. That was the most exciting because I had a plan. I had a whole like outfit plan and plus they're flowers. You know, I love anything with florals, especially jewelry. Speaking of which, <laughs> I got some floral earrings. I just thought those would be the most darling Valentine's Day earrings. I just, I, I don't wear a lot of jewelry, honestly. God, what is up with all the earrings being so bent? That concerns me because of the plastic. I mean, obviously it's gonna be cheaper plastic, but I like to have the surgical steel just because I, go figure, will probably, oh my God, are these breaking too? Okay, I'm not impressed with, I'll never buy earrings from here again because they're all breaking. But they're cute. I can wear them for like an hour and then I'll really have to take them out because they're gonna make my ears itch. Anyway, I need to get ready. We are gonna head over to the World Market and pick up a rug that we found online for the kitchen. My husband just installed light covers on all of the plugs and outlets so they look cohesive and really nice. And then today we're planning on painting the antique white trim, which is the windows and the door. And then we have been looking at washer and dryers. Anyway, I'm gonna go try this stuff on, which you've already seen and then um, get going. I just need to run to 
the mall. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna grab our little rug. I think this is actually like an outdoor style rug that might be better off in the actual mud room. So we'll see. So distracted when cars are surrounding me. <laughs> if you can't tell. There she is. There is the rug. I think this will be good for the entry from the backyard to the laundry room so you can wipe your feet and it will absorb moisture and stuff because the other rug I feel like it moves too much. It needs to like sit still better and also be something you can wipe off your feet on. So I think this will be really great and it's going to match in there. It's going to look so nice and it's kind of like a garden theme and I love the snake on it. And then, while I was there, I just popped over to the candles. And I've been loving the look of these spirally candles lately. So I got those. And then I wanted something nice for the kitchen just when it's done to add to the counter that looks nice and smells good. So I got this amber reed diffuser. Touch of something new to make it nice and smell good. Did I just say nice like 25 times? And then they had these free little teas. Caramel vanilla macaroon tea. Just like little freebies, so I got that as well. Um, so I'm at the local market and they have all like farm, farm goods. So it's local vegetables, local meats, whatnots. And so I'm gonna get, actually I'm thinking about doing a slow cooker stew that I've never done before with navy beans, I think is what I have, or white beans. There's some sort of white bean. Navy beans, navy beans, navy beans, navy beans. Navy beans. And apparently they take so long to cook that they're best in a slow cooker. I have chicken thigh, so I was thinking of doing like a seared chicken thigh with soup and a really big healthy salad for dinner tonight. And now I'm getting really hungry and excited about it. And plus I love slow cooker because you can just toss everything in and then it's limited prep later. My good vibe corner. <laughs> All right, time for some slow cooker. This thing is not flattering. Slow cooker soup. We're doing lima bean. Fat free food, huh? High fiber, huh? I tossed in some herbs and now this is going to slow cook for about four hours on low. Here is antique white, which is the color we're going to do the trim, which that's what it is already. On to another project. I am loving the way that the plate covers look. They look amazing. He did a good job. He added this, so this wasn't there before and that is gonna be for the light that goes here, we're just waiting on the part and it should be delivered sometime this afternoon, hopefully. So that'll be done either today or tomorrow. And then here's the new outdoor rug. Looks so much better. And just something to wipe off feet coming in and out of the backyard. much done as I could today. Between trying to give myself 10 minutes to lay on the couch and do nothing to <laughs> uh, trying to finish the paint, I still have to do the door and then the tile came but it, it's not really sticking and we need another pack so for the backsplash on the oven. So that still needs to be ordered and figured out as far as how we're going to make it stick. And then I dropped one behind the stove. So then we have to pull the stove out. It's a thing. Anyway, I have a Zoom call here in about five minutes, so I should probably go get ready for that. 
work meeting in the evening and then uh, tomorrow is going to be chill day. I hope you enjoyed this week of home updates still going on in the kitchen and in the mudroom and it looks so good. I'm so happy. The light looks amazing. Anyway, that's it. I feel, I feel rushed. So thank you so much for watching this week. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe if you're not and give me a thumbs up. That's always nice. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't know where my voice just went. Okay. Thank you.